Miss Kiran Mai, your interview date has been received or not? Yes, sir. Which date? Uh, it is on 7th May, sir. In which place? Uh, it is in our campus, sir, Andhra University. Very good. Excellent. Now, um, can you please tell us about yourself? Yes, sir. Uh, good evening, sir. Um, firstly, I would like to thank you uh, for giving me this opportunity. My name is Ketana Kiranmai Yerra and my native place is Vishakapatnam. I am currently pursuing a bachelor's degree in electronics and communication engineering from Andhra University College of Engineering for Women. Mm. I attended Fitzy Junior College uh, for my intermediate education and also completed my schooling at St. Joseph Girls High School from Vishakapatnam. Mm. I come from a close-knit family of four. My father works for Hindustan Shipyard Limited, Vizag, Vishakapatnam. And my mother uh, is a homemaker. Uh, I have a younger sister who is currently pursuing her MBBS from Andhra Medical College, Vishakapatnam. Um, I enjoy indulging in various hobbies uh, like dancing, reading fictional books now and then, uh, playing badminton and swimming. Uh, I am familiar with three languages, uh, Telugu, uh, it's my mother tongue, English and Hindi. I have much interest in uh, uh, learning new things. So recently I have, I have uh, begun to learn uh, um, German language. Um, as for my strengths, uh, I am very organized person uh, and give attention to details. Um, I have the ability to work well in teams and mm -hmm. I'm good in leading my team as well. Um, I have spent a year uh, as a class representative and also led my team through our uh, final year project, uh, which we just recently finished it. Uh, my ability to communicate effectively makes one of my biggest strengths, sir. That's it, sir. Thank you so much. The project, uh, you said uh, the recently completed project. So yes, sir. Un unless you tell what is it, then the it doesn't have weightage. It doesn't give any extra information. So you must, if at all you want to tell about that, then you should tell the project was on this. Okay. Okay, the project sir. was on about what and what was your role in that. Okay, That's sir. Number two. Hmm, uh, you were killing... Uh, Yeah, regarding hobbies, when you were telling, you were telling everything you are putting together in one uh, dancing, badminton, swimming. What is this? These two don't go together. So if you want to tell about dancing, tell about the achievements made in dancing. If you want to tell about badminton, tell about the participation you have been having in badminton. Then come to swimming. Yes, sir. Do you follow what I say? Yes, sir. Simply telling my hobby is dancing, uh, badminton, um, um, swimming. Uh, this is not going to help us. Okay, sir. Um, yeah, now tell me, you said you have been practicing swimming. Since when you were practicing swimming? Uh, sir, actually, when I was in sixth standard, uh, my father actually pushed me uh, to have this. Uh, water. Uh, uh, no, sir. Actually, he only gave the idea that you need to learn something, some sport. You need to be an athlete. So I have started when I was in sixth standard. I practiced for around uh, maybe uh, two or two years, maybe till uh, my eighth standard. And after eighth, uh, as I am, like my syllabus is ICSE syllabus when I was in 10th standard. So my 10th uh, board syllabus starts from eighth standard onwards. So I, I was more into studying. So I stopped going any coaching classes. And uh, later on, I just, I will be doing sometimes if I have any opportunity to uh, do some swimming or any competition, I just uh, participate in them. Uh, 
or else i don't uh, do this that frequently sir like maybe sometimes in my apartment or something like that some free leisure time i'll see and i'll do maybe what once in the, a week or something what was the recent competition you participated in swimming uh, no sir i have never i did not participate uh, that, is, that is why i'm telling you you don't mention about swimming okay sir because you, you were doing it as a small child but not now then what is the fun in telling about it you must okay. tell something which you are now actively practicing for example dancing you must have done for about 5 to 6 years or longer yes. also and maybe you can say you are practicing now are you doing practicing nowadays no uh like in my engineering time i did not do sir like i gave a break for all these extra curricular activities while i was pursuing my btech now during engineering what is the thing you are doing breathing you are doing <laughs> yes <sir. laughs> now tell me what is it you are doing in in your um, engineering times no no i am solving this situation for you so that you will not face problem in the real inter understand yes sir so think over this and then present it properly some okay sir whatever you will not get caught you tell like this okay okay sir yeah now here today's interview was there and um, what do you know about federal bank other than its history um yes sir i am aware of federal bank uh, uh, it is one of the oldest private banks established in india in the year 1931 by kp Hor kp hormes in kerala uh, mr kp hormes late okay, mr kp. yes sir. mr late kp late mr kp hormes mr late nahi aayega it will come late mr mr kp okay yeah. late mr kp hormes in kerala um, it has grown significantly uh, boasting over 1500 branches across india with its headquarters in uh, kerala cochin uh, kerala um, currently aluva, mr aluva cochin okay sir yeah, aluva may be cochin is a big place and in that aluva is one it may be so aluva cochin then um and mr uh, currently mr sham srinivasan serves as md and ceo and uh, uh, one stand out feature is its uh, hazel free technology for uh, nri account openings uh, because uh, federal bank gives a lot of uh, like uh, the, there is a hazel free technology to open this nri accounts uh, and also and also uh, additionally um, uh, this bank has uh, um, uh, like recently it, it is placed in the top 30 places future ready place workplaces uh, so of the india sir it's one of its achievements which recently got in 2024 mm. now there is a news about um, no no but the points told by you are not sufficient uh, number one you should tell when it was started who is the present md and ceo where is the headquarters number of happy customers 18 18 plus mil 18 million plus for uh, happy 18, customers 18 million plus customer plus, happy customers yes. then number of atms number of uh, cash receipts cash recyclers okay okay then major um, some of the um, important products of our bank like um, besides uh, demand deposit such as savings bank current account and time deposits such as fixed deposit recurring deposit bank also gives dmat account which is used for buying and selling of shares besides this bank also gives um, say gold loan then education loan housing loan then agriculture loan then infrastructure loan then msme loans and all that besides banks um, bank is also giving banks nre business is a very uh, bank is holding 15% of the nre deposits of the 
country and um, remittance nearly 15 percent of the remittances are from abroad or coming through our federal bank and uh, say the federal bank is topmost in the matter of provision of uh, internet banking services and their fed light 24 by 7 account opening in through online is very famous and uh, now i think the results must have come now did you see the results no sir i think because they they told that the results will be announced on second so press release must have come by now press release must have come by now let us see that Quarter three, quarter two, quarter three, quarter four results have come. So you are the first candidate to come for this. Oh, oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. So about this, we will discuss at 8 30 p.m. class. Okay, ah. sir. Yes, or, sir. We, or we will present it as a separate document. I am not going into this area now. So, okay, sir. other than this, whatever I have said is sufficient. Okay, okay sir. Yes, good. sir. Very good. Kiran Mai. Yes, sir. Which bank are you having an account? Uh, sir, SBI, sir. Good. Who is the chairman of SBI? Uh, Dinesh Kumar no Karra. Okay. I think there has been no change. Now, in your degree, you are doing CSE, no? No, sir. ECE, sir. ECE. Do you have any internship and all? Yes, sir. I've done two internships, sir. Uh, one is uh, summer internship, which I completed last year, 2023. And the other one is... Uh, uh, like winter uh, vacation, uh, maybe in December like that, I've completed one one internship that is in, in the year 2022, sir. How many, what was the duration? Uh, it was uh, uh, 2022, that internship is about uh, two months, sir. Mm. And uh, the summer internship is only for one month, sir. So during winter winter internship, what is it did you learn? Which company was it? Uh, sir, it is uh, uh, SEMS, Center uh, Excellence of Maritime Shipbuilding. It is about, uh, I've, learnt, I've learned about uh, embedded systems and uh, um, IoT-based uh, internships, sir. Then they will ask questions on embedded systems. What is embedded system? In what way is it used in ships, then another one you said internet of things what are internet of things uh, can you tell uh, something so please prepare or do you know can you answer these two questions now yes sir uh, embedded system it is basically a computer system sir uh, which has uh, like basically it has a microchip uh, it is a system uh, in which we use uh, like a combination of processors, memory, inputs, outputs. Uh, basically, it is a system. We give some inputs, and then uh, the processor or the you know the controller will uh, process the data which is which we give, and then the output is given. For an example, if we uh, turn on the switch, the fan is uh, on and it will turn now, sir. So that is one of the like it is an embedded system. Example of an embedded system. And also uh, the IoT, including the IoT, is uh, uh, in, uh, like this embedded system. We are uh, emerge like integrating this with the internet, sir. So what happens is here uh, the Wi-Fi uh, module, the Wi-Fi is connected to the embedded system. Uh, like it has the uh, embedded system has its own controller, so that is the main CPU type. So that the controller is actually having a Wi-Fi module, and also uh, like the ex for an example, you could say home auto machine. Like you will be somewhere in some other place, and then uh, you can turn on the uh, TV or you can turn on the 
and turn off the lights or you can turn on the ac and everything that is working accordingly uh, with the usage of iot and embedded system all together sir so that is the brief uh, introduction about embedded and uh, iot you told nicely anyhow i am giving uh, uh, say a link of that wikipedia for that in our whatsapp group okay okay sir you did you told nicely nothing wrong uh, good that was that was really nice internet of things all you told nicely now coming to further questions tell us about your family uh, sir uh, we are actually a family of four my father uh, his name is mr uh, srinivas rao Uh, he is working in hindustan shipyard limited for the past 12 years and uh, my mother homemaker and my sister she recently uh, like cracked neat in, in the year 2023 and now she is pursuing her first year mbbs uh, from andhra medical college that is from visak sir visakhapatnam hmm. they i don't know why they have asked this question they have asked a question what is the difference between a retail banking and commercial banking uh sir i i don't uh, have any idea about this sir yes sir right. even i am not i am not very clear on that so we will learn from this please read this um okay a uh, retail banking versus corporate banking what uh, what's the difference corporate banking i wanted commercial banking they have asked only commercial banking difference between commercial banking ah uh, retail bank and commercial bank are you seeing it now yes sir one minute this they may not ask you yeah still let me make it familiar for you please read retail banks provide financial services like checking accounts and mortgages to individuals and small businesses on the other hand commercial banks work with commercial entities businesses government and institutions and offer a range of services and pro products such as investment management investment management and savings accounts i think that will do mm, that much will do but anyhow if you want if you have time you just go through that later on okay okay sir okay sir now big all these questions were asked for a candidate today second may 2024 okay sir in bengaluru so this housing loan and property loan which is the better for customer no uh, it depends on which is better for the customer okay the housing loan a customer will be it will be useful for a customer who wants to buy a house and the property loan is normally taken by a customer who has already acquired a property and he wants to raise money against it for business purposes so depending on the need of the customer and the position of the customer the suitability will be decided however a yeah, housing loan customer may be paying less interest so from that angle it will be beneficial for the customer do you follow mm -hmm. yes, it depends sir. on the purpose of the customer okay. if a customer yes. wants uh, say um, money for business purposes immediately then housing loan will not be helpful for him property loan is helpful for him correct then what is your name kiran mai yes sir kiran mai what are the places you have seen outside andhra uh sir i've visited uh, 
Maharashtra, Lake Mumbai, Navi Mumbai. Uh, I've visited many places from Mumbai, sir, because my uh, uncle, uh, he, he, he's, working in, uh, he's working for Geo Industries. So I've, uh, for the past seven years, around seven, eight years. So I've, uh, like every summer vacation or some winter vacations or many, like any holidays, I usually visit Mumbai, sir. Then another you know, place. And um, uh, apart from Mumbai, I've, uh, uh, I went to Delhi once, sir, like when I was really young, maybe around 10 years. Uh, I've I've seen many uh, famous places uh, like uh, Taj Mahal places, and tell me places you have visited after becoming an adult, say after, after eighteen. Becoming, uh, sir, it's Mumbai only, sir. I I don't go uh, very frequently yeah. outside the. Now, how about your relocating? Which places are your preference? Uh, sir. Supposing we decide to post you outside Andhra. Yes, sir. Which places you will opt? Sir, uh, firstly, I'll opt for some uh, 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 like metropolitan cities like Bangalore or Hyderabad or maybe Mumbai and hmm. maybe Delhi because Delhi is too far uh, from my place. But still, I'll opt. Even uh, if I get the opportunity, I'll opt for Delhi. Uh, actually, the main uh, uh, like motto of this relocation is I've never been uh, uh, in any hostels or uh, like far from my parents and my uh, like I from the start from my uh, birth I was in Vishakhapatnam and my graduation is also done in Vishakhapatnam so I never got a chance to explore the new culture and now, supposing, uh, place sir supposing you are given an option to choose say within Andhra Pradesh, a place other than Isakapatnam, nearly 200 kilometers away from that. Which place will you choose? Uh, sir, uh, maybe Kakinada, Rajmendri, okay. or Vijaywada. Good. Very good. Best wishes. God bless you. You answered well. Let us see how next time, second interview, how it goes. We will see. Best wishes. Okay. okay. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. You did well. But of course, uh, I don't know. I asked only tough question means the products only was a tough one for you. And that hobbies also, I made it tough for you because, you know, yes, it was sir. not very clear. Best wishes. Kiran Mahi. Yes. Yes, you sir. did well.